in three, two. Yo, what is up, YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back again with another video. And in this video, for those who haven't read the title, today we compare the Adidas Next Levels versus the Adidas Dame Fives. Let's get it. First things first, massive thank you to the family over at Project Basketball for sending these through. If you want either the Adidas Next Levels or the Adidas Dame Fives, head over to the Product website and they will take care of you. And of course, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Like this video and show your support as you guys already have. Comment down below which shoe you prefer. And of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're on the road to 10K and we are almost there. So massive thank you to everyone who already has subscribed and shout out to everyone who hasn't and will after watching this video. So make sure you hit subscribe and get us to 10K. We have said this many of times already, Adidas has been killing the basketball shoe game. Lynn. The Dame Fives are absolutely incredible. Yep. Dame Lillard himself has been killing it. And the Adidas Next Levels, wow. If you haven't seen a performance review already, we only have amazing things to say about the laceless shoe from Adidas Basketball. It is an incredible basketball shoe. But today, we're not bigging up these, these shoes, are we? Nah, they've got work to do first. Today, we are comparing the two. They've got work to do. So without further ado, Let's get straight into it. As per usual, starting out with the aesthetics. Now here in the next levels, they've aesthetically taken it to the next level. It's all right. I'm gonna use this for right this video. Okay. This is next level aesthetics right here. I hear you. Futuristic, for one, there's no laces. Yeah. I'm gonna use that as an aesthetic because okay. it makes it look futuristic. Fair Close enough. to foot. It's sexy, yeah? It's sexy in the white colorway, in the black colorway, it's sexy. You hear me? Sexy, see that? Sexy. Everything about you so sexy. You're trying really hard to sell that shoe, aren't you? I ain't trying hard. Unfortunately, I ain't trying hard. it looks good. It looks but real good. Does it look as good as the Dame 5? Ah, I'm not sure. I guess it's I'm for sure. the viewers to decide. It is. You guys let us in the comment section below which shoe you think looks better aesthetically. My personal opinion, I think, is the Dame 5. I think the Dame 5 is super clean, especially with the array of colorways that we've there seen. There are so colorways. Far. No, I'm with that. They are and the colorways. The different materials that we have. I've seen, yeah, I'm with that. Okay, I agree. It's a clean shoe, bro. But are they sexy though? Not as sexy the next level as I can't. There you lie. go. Can't That's lie. what I'm trying to tell yeah. you. The futuristic look That's is very clean. That's what I'm trying clean. to say to you. Yeah. So I think that's one nil. Easy. Off the front. Easy. Now next up, talking about the traction in both shoes. Now this is a bit of a weird one. Mm. Slash tough one, I mm. guess you could say, because they both have herringbone traction patterns on their outsole. Yeah. Which one's better? This is so hard. This is tough. This is a weird one to even try and compare. Yeah. Because they are the same. They are the same. So it's really, really hard. But I think in our personal opinion, yeah. we both enjoyed the next levels just a little bit more. I think it's just because the grooves are tighter. Yeah. It's multi-directional herringbone. They just squeak nicer. They grip yeah. the floor a little nicer. Yeah, they're similar. But I think. Yeah, just by a small tad, the by next tad. levels take the cake on this one. So with all that out of the way, now we're talking about the cushioning. Sweet. Now here in the next levels, we have next level cushioning. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a brand new cushioning setup introduced in the next level shoe. Yeah. Introducing light strike, right? And it's in the name, it's light and it's striking. This cushioning system is no joke. I had a great time in these from the jump. The cushioning felt soft, it was durable, it was uh, responsive. All the words you can think of, it was everything you needed in this shoe. 100%. 100%. What are you telling me? We have bounce cushioning here in the Dame 5. That's true, that is now, very true. Some of you already know how amazing bounce cushioning is. I, I'm one of those people. But in terms of this comparison, it's a tough decision it's, when it's choosing there. between which is better. Mm. We have our favorite child here. I hear that. This I has been, our favorite, it's been our favorite child for a very, very long time. It has been. And. From nowhere, Adidas gives birth to Light Strike. Yep. And now we have to pick between and our now two. Now we have babies. a newborn. We have a newborn child. We have a newborn. And everyone knows the newborn gets a lot more attention. And a lot Always more gets a lot more attention. It does, unfortunately. And that's uh, the case in that's this situation. That's the case in this situation. That's really the case in yeah, this situation. Straight up. The newborn uh, takes, takes, uh, Easy. takes it all. It was so good. It's amazing. I really enjoyed the response in the next level cushioning. The Light Strike was really nice. The low to the ground profile cushioning as well was really, really nice. Bounce, of course, I love the bounce. Yeah, it's exactly. amazing. But yeah. Light Strike has just clocked it. It's, it's a bit of a mixture of bounce and boost. I hear that. Next up, talking about materials. Over here in the Dame 5, we have 
textile mesh yep. in the forefoot in the shoe and a suede construction in the back of the shoe. Yep. I really enjoyed this setup. The textile mesh was lovely, easy to break in, which yep. is exactly what you want for your basketball mm -hmm. shoes. And then the heel content, we have suede, which has a lot more structure to it, mm -hmm. a lot more strength, rigidity, mm -hmm. which I also enjoyed. And the materials in the shoe were really nice for me. I'm with that. No, I'm with that. However, the Adidas Next Level has next level materials. Over on this side, we've got Prime Knit throughout, Prime knit. along with an internal sleeve to help with that structure. Yeah. Now, let's all be honest, Prime Knit ain't gonna do it by itself, especially on a shoe with no laces. So what they did, they incorporated that internal sleeve as well to help with the structure, and they did it in the best way. These felt incredible. They did. They look just like a sock with light strike attached to them, and that's what they felt like. Breaking time was zero, and they just felt incredible. However again. However again. Prime Knit does fray, and it frays a fair amount. And it's extremely annoying to me. It's very annoying. And we'll get into it a bit later, Yeah. but the pricing and fraying do not go together. They're not so together that's, whatsoever, so. that's an L. That's, a, that's, a, that's an L. That's an L. It's an, it's an L for you, yeah. To the point, it's an L. Goes to the dang fly. Next up, talking about the fit. Now, just talking about the materials, yes, Prime Knit plus their internal sleeve goes hard, and it did the absolute trick for the fit. Yeah. These felt a madness. I just mentioned how they felt like a sock, because yeah. they did. They hugged the foot, pretty much one-to-one -one fit, perfect fit. A lot of people said they're such a snug fit to begin with, so you definitely got up half size. No, go true, because that's how socks do. You ain't never broke, broken no socks before. Nope. These fit like an absolute sock yeah so <laughs> the fit over here is also really really nice facts we I'm obviously sure. have laces here yeah which means you have an adjustable fit mm. the shoe caters for all types of feet timmy's feet oh, my foot again. they were a-okay -okay. i'm not gonna go into how long and abnormally crazily weird timmy's through. foot is because it when really is weird, weird and abnormal i'm not gonna go into it because it is quite different. Can do However, oh, the shoe really? catered for both of us. It's Him and his long ass feet, and mine and my normal feet, the shoe catered for I both of us. So anymore. the adjustable fit in the shoe was really, really nice. However, is it a next level fit? And unfortunately, I don't think so. I don't think it is. I really enjoyed the fit in the shoe. Of course, definitely, so did I. But the fit in the next levels is, is an experience. A it's something mm. that you enjoy about the shoe. It's the thing that makes the shoe what it is. I will say, fit and getting them on is a thing. Yeah. We said in the performance review, you've got to figure out a way to get them on, and you do. Yeah. That's a hit, but it's worth it. Yeah. That's if all you, it is. If you're patient, not like myself, you <laughs> really enjoy the fit. 100%. Next up, talking about the support, and over here in the Dame 5, we have our usual suspects. Mm -hmm. However, they didn't perform usually, did they, Timmy? No, they did not. Starting off with the outrig of the shoe, along with this TPU barrier, yeah. not only do they make sure my foot is contained within the shoe, One. but they also support my foot laterally. Two. So any lateral movement, you are good. Facts. Especially with how far wide the outrigger protrudes in the Dame 5, yeah. you are good to go. I hear that. And that along with the internal TPU heel counter, the high top collar or mid top yeah. collar of the shoe, yeah. and the overall lockdown, which comes from this nice lacing system. Yeah. I mean, the support system in the Dame 5 is just A1. Yeah. Especially for guards. If you're oh, yeah. a guard and you want support, the Dame 5 has support without feeling too restrictive. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's, 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 definitely. it's, it's a it good system. It's a really good system. Now, over here in the next level, now I don't know, but I know. That the next level was announced before the Dame 5. And I'm just saying there's a lot of inspirations that seem to be taken from the uh I mean that to me sounds like an assumption next, to the me. The next level. You, you're assuming just a lot of things were taken from the next level and put on to the Dame 5. Timmy's assuming. Obviously an understanding how well it works on this side. And now again, it is this is speculation. Right. Speculation. But can't tell me they don't look similar. Anyway, the support on the next levels, fantastic stuff. Yeah. They did a really, really good job, especially you're only using prime knit and the internal sleeve. Yes, just like the Dame 5, a quite a wide uh, outrigger, along with that TPU barrier, <clears> keeping <throat> you locked in laterally, either side to side, and an internal heel counter as well. Now, 
The big thing missing from the Adidas Next Levels are the laces, which plays a huge part when we talk support. Yep. What Adidas have said is that we're taking away laces because we can provide support. However, that support is one size fits all. Yep. If you don't like it, can't really change it. And that is a huge, huge hit, I think. But at the same time, it does provide good support. Whereas a Dame provides almost adaptive support yeah. where you need it, where you don't have the option, unfortunately, in the next level. So I think with that being said, as good as they both are, that's an edge right there. The laces came through to the edge. Nice one. Last and most certainly not least, we have the pricing of both of these shoes. The Danes are priced at £90, £90, where the next levels are priced at a whopping £160. Whopping, you know, good word. That is a £70 difference. Almost double. Almost double. Almost double. You good for And the point goes to the Dame for <laughs> I can't really argue with it. Do you know what you could buy for £70? You can buy a lot of things for £70. You can buy so much for £70. You can buy a lot of things. If you go on ProDirect website... If you, if you went to ProDirect... And you check out their sales section, you could probably buy two of these. There you go. That's pounds. the Dame 5 challenge right there. Everyone head over to ProDirect and see what you can get for £70. That's your budget. Put it in the cart and just see what check happens. Out. By no means is this a bad shoe. Nah. In comparison, ah, it's tough. <laughs> it's so tough. I do think though that the shoe is worth £160. And Ooh, it that's big for you. Hurt me to say because it is an experience and it is the future of basketball. Yep. However, comparing these two shoes and what they provide performance yep. wise, yep. no brainer. No, no brainer. brainer. I'm with that. No brainer. Yeah, yeah, I think I think yeah, the people have to be. So right guys, there you have it, looking at the scores by the absolute skin of its teeth, the newborn Adidas Next Level takes the W. By no means is the Dame 5 a bad nah, shoe nah, 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 nah. We just said by the skin of its by teeth. By the skin of its teeth. It's edge. Me personally, if I saw these two shoes and I had to pick between these two shoes which to play in, I'm going Dame 5. I'm still going with the Next Level. You are, and you are who you are to me. I am who I am. And I am who I, I am. I am who I am. And I am who I am. I hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Traction in both of the shoes, super, super similar. But not quite the same, but super similar. Took the edge on this side. Of course, it's a cushion in as well. Introduced in Light Strike, a newborn in the game, and it did not disappoint. It's already taken all the learnings from all the cushion ins, its big brothers across the sneaker industry, yep. and came out swinging. And then, of course, the pricing is a no brainer. You just heard it. Don't get me wrong. It's low key worth the 160 yeah, for the future of basketball. Yeah. But the Dame 5 is right here, the 70 pounds less, and it's still doing bits 100%. next to the level of basketball. So that's everything from us. Big shout out again to Product Basketball for sending these through. We highly appreciate it. At all times. But before you guys go, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like this video, show your support as you guys already have. And of course, Comment if you agree with us, does the next level take the cake for you or is it a Dame 5 thing? Yep. And lastly, the road to 10K is right around the corner. Hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it to get notified every time we drop a new video and get us to 10K because we do have a lot planned and it is on the way as soon as we get to 10K. So that's it from us. This is the Adidas Next Levels. This is the Adidas Dame 5. We're Pure Kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.